My name's Justin, and I've got a confession. I've up shopped for years, and I've always had control on my spending. But last year, I discovered online shopping, and I got sucked in by the bright lights of the internet. I'm here to tell my story in a bid to help others. Buying online was a collector's dream. Millions of things at your fingertips. It's a dangerous mix. Thousands of virtual aisles, a bottomless shopping cart, and a savings account just three clicks away. The online auctions managed to combine op shopping and sport. It brought out my competitive side. I was desperate to outbid my opponents. With online shopping, my addiction became portable. I could shop anywhere. I could shop on a bus, on a train, or on one of these weird train buses. But I knew I really had a problem when I started stealing. My name is Wi-Fi Connection. After wearing out my laptop, I bought a new one online. I put in the highest bid and won, but it never came. I'd been e-played. It was my first taste of web crime. All I could do to vent my anger was to leave some well-versed negative feedback on their account. I was so angry I even used capitals. Mother was right. Never accept gifts from a stranger unless they have a purple star and 99% positive feedback. Despite stringent security measures, there are still instances of internet fraud. The following is a recreation of the average cyber criminal operating in his high-tech bunker. Online shopping has its advantages. There's no crowds, you can do it while sitting down, and you can program your own Muzak. The biggest drawback is you can't handle the merchandise, so you've got to be pretty savvy with the online facts and figures. So with clothes, it's all about size, and especially suit jackets. You want to make sure you get the right measurements, cuff to pit, shoulder to shoulder. Just make sure you don't get centimetres and inches mixed up. Inches. To unlock vintage treasures online, you need to find the magic combination in the keyword search. The problem is, sellers are putting vintage buzzwords like retro, mod and indie in the titles, no matter what they're selling. <sighs> Just because something's 10 years old doesn't make it vintage. Look, I know the UN has a lot on their plate, but an international treaty on second-hand classifications wouldn't go ashtray. 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 I don't smoke. But visitors might. Watch out for postage traps. There's no point buying a vintage mod indie retro penguin polo shirt if it's going to cost $30 to deliver. So a good tip is to set yourself a limit and not go over it, unless you really have to. And be careful in your sleep deprived haze not to forget the decimal point. Did I just bid a million dollars for a Danger Mouse mug? Once you get the hang of it, you'll see that buying online can be the most efficient way of adding to your prized collection of things you don't really need. Thanks, computers. You really are a man's best friend. Ow! Jesus.